It's a four-bedroomed house, and a team of enforcement officers have arrived at dawn to look inside. What they find is shocking. There are 26 beds. How many people live in this room, sir? One, two, three bunk beds, six sleeping spaces. Another four more in this tiny room. You pay 55 pounds, 65 pounds per week each. It was time for the enforcement team to do some maths. What might the landlord earn from this one property in Wembley? We think there are up to 26 people living in this property, paying somewhere between 60 and 65 pounds a week. So that we're looking at an income on this property of around about £1,500 a week, which is around about £80,000 a year income. But there was even more to come. Outside, inspectors found a shack. And inside, two more beds. And a woman living here who wasn't happy with the conditions. She cannot stand the, uh, the mice and the rats scrolling around at night. It's dreadful, isn't it, to think that somebody could be exploited to live in what isn't even a shed, it's a lean-to. So how many people might be living in conditions like this across London? Well, Brent Council has already prosecuted 30 landlords in a year, and taking in other councils, there have been at least 300 raids in 12 months. This house in Kingsbury has now been boarded up. Inside, inspectors found 17 beds. The men living here, thought to be Romanian, have now moved on. In Harrow, there's another four-bedroomed house, not quite so crowded, until recently 13 people, mainly from Hungary, had been living here. But they're not happy. One of the tenants has armed himself with a baseball bat. Because I'm going to protect ourselves. The tenants here claim their landlord gave them just two weeks' notice to get out, and when they objected, two strange men turned up outside the property. Walking up and down, punching in the air. Just jumping around and, you know, preparing to the fight. Harrow Council has now warned the landlord to respect tenants' rights. He's declined to comment, saying it's going to court. The tenants say they have no choice but to live in conditions like this. I think because this is the cheapest where you can find a room. And back at that Wembley house with 26 beds, Bagarad told us he lives here because his job as a carer for the elderly pays so little. I'm paid 30 pounds per day. Maish works as a casual builder and earns 60 to 80 pounds a day, but says even living here, his life is better than back home in India. This country is money. Our country is no money. The landlord here now faces prosecution, but without alternative, very cheap accommodation, many thousands of low-paid workers may continue to live in similar conditions. Gareth Furby, BBC London News. Okay. 55. You pay 55.